welcome to video training of puppet and i am alok shrivastava so in this video as this is the technically it is the first class so we are going to learn what are the prerequisites that we need to do before we install the puppet server and the puppet agent so here i have got two machines with me one machine is named as p server or puppet server i'll just show it to you one machine is puppet server or p server.example.com and i am running rel 7.4 sorry 7.2 so this is the another machine with a blue background i had intentionally changed the background so that it will be easier for you to recognize the machine here this machine name is pagent.example.com and this machine is also running rel 7.2 because i don't have the dns so the first thing that you should be doing is to put up a static entry in the etc host file so if i show you my ip addresses either you can use ifconfig command or as you are running on rel 7 so you can use ip address show so i have two ips one is 192.168.0.101 which will be used for the internal communication and i have got one more lan card which is of 192.168.1.174 this i'll be using for the time being just to connect to the internet and to download the packages then i can safely disable or remove this LAN card. So this is my primary address 101 is the address of the puppet agent and if I give the same command here 100 is the IP address of the server. So let me put up a static entry in the Etsy host file as I don't have the DNS. So this you have to do when you're creating your lab. So this is pserver.example.com p server and another is 192.168.0.101 p agent dot example dot com p agent so the same thing you need to do in the other file so i can do a scp that's the best thing at c host to root at the rate 192.168.0.101 colon at c so just give the password and job is done. So I can confirm this thing. If I come to this machine and find. So that means I should be able to hit that machine with the name P server. That's great. So this is what I intend to do. So let me try from here also. P agent perfect. So this is the first thing that you have to do. The second thing that you have to do is that you need to configure one of the machines as a yum server as gradually down the course we will be using the requiring the packages to install or configure number of servers. So I have my DVD already available here so I can use the mount command to view where my DVD is here it is. So I will be sharing it using FTP so I create the folder here where ftp pub rel 72 i'll be creating this folder and now i will be copying the whole dvd inside this path so this is run media you press the tab it will automatically auto complete don't worry about this asterisk and it will be going under where ftp pub rel 7.2 so that means i am copying the whole dvd inside this folder which will be used as my yum repository location it will just take small time no problem just a moment So this is done. 
So we have the whole DVD copied here. I'll just check it out. Where FTP pub rel 7.2, there it is. The whole DVD is copied here. So I will just configure myself as a yum client and to see whether I'm able to talk to the repository or not. And I hope you all are comfortable with which file to create and what to write. Server name. I can write anything, say local repo. Base URL here, I can use file as it's a local uh, folder where FTP power rel 7.2. That's great. GPG check 0. I'm not interested in the digital signatures right now. So if I just do a yum repo list, I can also remove that redhead.repo file. Sometimes it creates issues. So here I'm, I'm getting the packages. Rest fine, so I can give a yum list also. So it, yeah, and because the second machine cannot use it with a file parameter, so let me just install the VSFTPD and just start the service. That's all. And if you wish, you can disable the SE Linux. So I will be doing it that. So I'll just start the service here. System CTL start VSFTPD and enable VSFTPD. And what I do, I'll just give it this disable it as Linux. As we don't require this, though it won't make any obstructions with puppet but it's good if we disabled it disabled and because you have done the changes in the config file you need to reboot the machine so the same thing you need to do it here so I'll just do it at C sysconfig sc linux and just disable it I will just reboot it once my installation part is done not right now Okay, fine. So now I need to download the uh, Puppet repository here on this machine. So I can download the repo file from Puppet lab. So you can write down this path as I'm using rel 7. I can use HTTPS yum.puppet labs.com slash puppet lab so it's the easiest way of getting the packages puppet labs hyphen release hyphen pc1 hyphen el7 dot no arc dot rpm so this is the path you need to remember if you are running rel 7 it's downloaded successfully yes so I just use a RPM here so what it will do as soon as I install this it will create a file inside this folder yum.repos.d so if I'll just do it RPM hyphen IVH puppet labs job done so if I move inside at C yum.repos.d you will find a puppet labs file here if you wish you can disable this repo uh, so I'll just change it name original now I need to copy the same repo file to the agent so I'll just do a scp here root at p agent at c yum.repos.d that's it simple stuff so let me check it out here if I go to the agent, yeah, and I also need the server repo also, okay, which I will do, be doing it later on. I don't need that server right now because currently the objective is I should be able to install the packages. So we will be installing the puppet server package on this machine, which is having the P server name, and we will be installing the puppet agent or the puppet package on the client machine so let me try it 
I just use yum install. After this, you can just give puppet server. That's all. So if your internet connection is okay, it will automatically go there and download the packages for you and install it. The p server and the p agent is getting installed. Just wait. This is the best way of installing the packages fast. So once the packages are installed, the Puppet packages are, in, are installed, you might not require the internet connection. Just do a yes for the GPG keys. Just wait here. It won't take much longer. We have just successfully installed the Puppet server here. And the agent is also there. I'll just start the Puppet server. Systemctl start Puppet server. And enable it also so that it should be available across the reboots. It can take time as it's doing it for the first time. Just wait. Have patience. It will be successful, hopefully. Have to wait. Seems it's stuck up. Oh, it's done. So I just do an enable here so that it should be available after the reboot. And I can check the status here also whether my Puppet server is uh, started or not. Perfect. The Puppet server is running. That's great. Now, here on this machine, I need to install the puppet agent. So here it is now it is explicitly called as agent. So if I give a RPM query of puppet server, find the package. Now if I go here and the uh, repo file is already there, I presume I had copied it. Yeah. So I just do a yum install puppet agent. So you have to explicitly write here puppet hyphen agent because I don't need the server here. I will be requiring only the agent part here. So agent and its dependencies will be automatically installed here. Just wait. Perfect. So this is how you install the agent and the master or the puppet server oh there is some issue here with the gpg signatures i will be requiring the package retrieving the file at cpki puppet couldn't find the file Let me check it. So I'll just configure it as the yum client also, as my yum server is already running. So let me try that. Name can be anything, say main server. base url ftp slash slash p server dot example dot com pub 
rel 72 gpg check 0 and i should also disable this red hat dot repo it can create issues as i had told you so i had done this let me just do a yum clean all again and uh, let me first check it it's not going to 21 might be, be because of the firewall no problem i don't need it actually so what i do here or I can add up an entry in the firewall firewall cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen service is equal to vs ftpd or ftp yeah and do a reload firewall cmd hyphen hyphen reload so let me try this now and the I presume that my VSFTPD is running. Yeah. Let me try this once again. Yeah, it's going there and getting the packages also. See here. Now, if I try to do a pub yum install puppet agent. Let me see and hopefully this time it will be done. So these, these are the prerequisites you should be configuring or it's a homework. You, you should be configuring your machines with all these things. Again, th there is an issue there. It says the RPM file is not installed. Okay, I need to actually uh, copy this. Because when we download, like extract this, it also generate the keys. Okay, so let me just do a copy it. It will be done. P agent, no problem. It won't take much time. So I'll just do a rpm hyphen ivs. So instead of copying the file, please run this so that the keys will be available. Now it will work. yes see here now the keys are available because i had actually copied the text file the repo file and not use the rpm so the keys were not available so here your puppet agent is installed so this is how you install your puppet server and puppet agent now once the setup is done i will be directly going on to how you will be doing the things in the production environment skipping the uh, like the kids job like inst first do it like uh, installing it on the agents and then doing it it's unless like unnecessary will be wasting our time but yes i will show you some couple of examples how to write the dsl first on the agent itself and then gradually we can move on to this but i won't be spending much of the time on the agent because i want to be, be focusing on the client server architecture right here but this is the first thing that you should be doing is installing your puppet server and the puppet agent. Next is we will be learning about a lot of configuration files and all the things that I will be doing it in the next session. Thank you.